Hi, my name is Jing He and I'm a biotech analyst at Gabelli Fans. Today I'd like to give you an update on the coronavirus or COVID-19 outbreak. There have been close to 90,000 people diagnosed since the outbreak in China in December 2019, with over 3,000 cases of deaths or 3% death rate. Recently, the virus has spread across continents, raising concerns for pandemic. Multiple outbreaks occurred in other countries, including South Korea, Japan, Italy, Iran in the past week. More than 1,000 were diagnosed in each of these countries, and over 4,000 were diagnosed in South Korea. In the U.S., there are close to 100 cases and two deaths. The number of infected and death cases has already surpassed SARS, as we expected in our last update. While there is no treatment approved for COVID-19, we believe Gilead's remdesivir is the most promising drug. It showed promises in treating a few patients in the U.S., France, and Italy. The company has initiated a phase 3 trial in China and is now expanding the trial to other countries. Most importantly, recent changes in trial design are very positive, as it shifted to target more severe population. We like Gilead's shares given that initial data is likely to be released in a few weeks, which can be a catalyst. Using Tamiflu as an example, stockpiling may lead to an accumulative sales of 4 to 5 billion in two years during H1N1 outbreak. If COVID-19 lives with humans like H1N1, the accumulative sales could be 10 billion over 10 years. Regeneron is developing an antibody drug for COVID-19. They have developed a potent Ebola drug. I think their platform is solid, but it will take longer than Gilead. Veer Biotechnology is another company developing antibody drugs, but their platform has not yet been validated. On the vaccine side, Moderna plans to test their vaccine in phase one in late April. We believe it's a risky program since Moderna has not yet had any approved vaccine from its technology platform. Sanofi and J&J are also developing vaccines. Given the longer time of development for vaccines than drugs, we don't expect a vaccine to be widely used this year.